Hi everybody, Rabbi Yaakov Moskowitz here, and I am so excited to join Haderach for the pre-Pesach program. You know, when you see all the work that Haderach is doing, it is so unbelievably inspiring, seeing all the shiurim, all the programs that they're making for kids, for adults in the UK, throughout the world, giving people chizuk, helping people grow, it is mamish unbelievable. And kol hakavod to you, to haderach, for all of this incredible work and this incredible harbatsa satora, and I'm so honored to be able to be a part of it. You know, if you had to think about the top five most stubborn people to ever exist in the world. I would assume that everybody would have Paro somewhere on that list, if not even number one. I mean, he went through so many of these makos, such pain, such suffering, yet with every single one he refused. He was so stubborn and he wouldn't admit that there's HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He wouldn't let Klal Yisrael go. He just kept on going with his beliefs, with his kfira despite all of this tremendous suffering. Yet, after Barad, the hailstones came down, Paro did something that was very uncharacteristic of him. All of a sudden, the Pasuk tells us that Paro says, Hashem hatzadik v'ani v'ami harashoim. Hashem is righteous, and me and my people are wicked. Whoa, what's going on here? Paro? Paro's admitting to HaKadosh Baruch Hu that Hashem is righteous and that he's wicked? Why? All of a sudden? Out of nowhere? And the Riva explains so beautifully. Listen to what he says. The, the Riva explains the reason why Paro admitted that Hashem is righteous, why Paro essentially did shuv at this point, is because prior to the Makkah of Barad, Hashem gave Paro a warning. He told Paro and the Egyptians that if you take in your cattle, Shilech HaEzas Miknecha, if you take in your cattle inside, it will not get harmed by the Barad. But whatever you leave outside will get harmed by the Barad. And the Revo goes on and he says that when Paro thought about this afterwards, he recognized, whoa, Hashem did a chesed for me. He gave me the special chesed. Hashem gave me the special warning. Yet me and my people were Rishoyim because we didn't think about that. We didn't focus in. We didn't zero in on the fact that Hashem did this chesed for me. And my Rashiva of Henoch Libuid Sasa pointed out something so unbelievable here. You know, Paro went through six makas already. Total devastation. Dams Fardei Akinim Arov Dever Shchin. Physical pain. Emotional stress. Financial concern. Hashem brought all of this about to Paro to get him to change, yet he didn't do it. He wouldn't change. He wouldn't admit. But what is it that got Paro to recognize that there's a Kaddish Baruch Hu to get him to change? It's the fact that he zeroed in and recognized that Hashem is doing a chesed for me. Hashem was thinking about me. Hashem thought of me and my people and he gave us the special warning to bring in our cattle, even though we didn't listen. But the fact that Hashem thought to do that and was thinking of me and was doing chesed for me, that message resonated so deeply within Paro. Hashem cares for me. And that caused this unbelievably stubborn individual, this tremendous action, to turn around and to recognize, whoa, whoa, Hashem HaTzadik, Ba'ani Ba'ami HaRashoyim. The power of recognizing the chesed and the care that somebody else has for you can make a person who is so stubborn do a complete 180 and totally change their worldview. And it was only because Hashem hardened Paro's heart that Paro continued to refuse, and there were the other makos. But besides for that, this chesed, the recognition of the chesed, is what brought Paro to these levels. Let us go into Pesach and take this lesson from Paro, that if we want to grow in our amuna to even higher levels, and if we want to help our children strengthen their belief, strengthen their amuna, what we need to do is recognize the chesed Hashem that is going on constantly, within our lives. Think about the fact that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has given you your life. Think about the fact that Hashem has given you your wonderful family. Hashem has put you in a certain circumstance where you have a job, you have parnasa, you have your home. So much chesed Hashem is doing for us constantly. And on Pesach, and specifically on the Seder night, 
When we say Dayenu, when we say Hodu Lashem Ki Tov Ki Olam Chasto, let's think about all the constant chesed that Hashem is doing for me. Because when you think about that, that it has the ability to propel an individual to such incredible heights. You know what? If Hashem is doing so much for me, then I'm going to want to do back for HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And Be'ezus Hashem, through this Pesach, we will be able to grow and help our families grow in our emuna to such incredible levels that Be'ezus Hashem will come so close to HaKadosh Baruch Hu that we should be Zoha to see the final Geula, B'mehera, B'yomenu. I want to wish everybody a beautiful Yom Tif. Chag Kosher